Hello, H standard CBC children. Have a good day. Have a nice day. Today we are going to do video number ten as continuation of our lesson, chapter nine, reproduction in animals, part five. This is the last uh, uh, session of this uh, lesson, reproduction in animals. Okay. Now in reproduction in animals. As uh, video number 6, 7, 8 and 9, we have learned in detail about the reproduction in animals as asexual and sexual reproduction. As I said earlier, asexual reproduction, it is <coughs> a single parent involvement, no formation of gametes and variation will not occur. Whereas sexual reproduction, there are two parents involved, formation of male and female gametes and uh, variation will occur. I hope you remember that. Oh. And then this reproduction is nothing but continuation of the species or perpetuation of the species. Now what you are seeing here in this figure is human ovum and human sperm that we will uh, go in detail when we learn about this uh, uh, description of this human ovum and human sperm. These are the uh, male gamete human sperm and the female gamete human ovum. I hope you could follow this. Huh? Just recollect the points that we have learned for this lesson. Reproduction in animals. Okay. Now this reproduction in animals, as it is uh, given in the textbook, <coughs> as uh, one minute, this uh, reproduction in animals, as it is uh, given in the textbook, I am not going uh, reading in detail, just to follow it up, as uh, introduction that I gave, my mode of reproduction as uh, uh, it may be as asexual and sexual reproduction. Yeah. And sexual reproduction in the animals which give birth to uh, sorry, sexual reproduction growth, they are involvement of gametes and as a result zygote is formed and that zygote develops into an adult. Is it not? So, and that we have learned two terms. One is oviparous and another one is viviparous animals. Viviparous animals which give birth to young one. Okay. And now we say all animals they reproduce and all of them are not looking alike. And they have different kinds of their young ones. As given in our table 9.1 page 1 or 2. Descend the young one of human, we name it as baby or child. Yeah. Same way, cat, kitten, dog, puppies, butterfly, the young ones, they are called larva and then further adult metamorphosis. Is it not? And then hen, chick, and cow, it is calf. C A L F. Calf. And frog, Tadpole. Young one of frog, it is called tadpole. And cow, they are known as calves. C A L V E S. Calves. So, this is for just introduction that is given in our page table 9.1. Okay. Then, the next, what we are learning is the next one, what we are learning. We studied about spermatogenesis and oogenesis. I hope you remember that. Hmm? So please listen here carefully. It's an important event that takes place during sexual reproduction. Okay. And this important event, as we say in the video session 7, part 2, we have learnt about chromosome number. I hope you remember that. Huh? So now this chromosome number in human, it is 23 pairs or 
46 chromosome. Every 46 chromosome children, one from parent, one from paternal father and another from mother maternal. Okay. Now we, there are two phases as gametogenesis. One is spermatogenesis. These are spermatogenesis and this side it is oogenesis. Right? And I say that there are two types of cell division. One is mitosis and another one is meiosis. What do we know? Mitosis, when any part of the cell undergoes cell division mean it is mitosis. At the same time, the cell which undergoes re, uh, division in reproductive cell, they are meiosis. Okay. So, we have learned that in human, there are 23 pairs of chromosome. In that, I said about the autosomes and allosomes. Yeah, Barka? Yeah. There are, out of these 23 pairs, 22 pairs are called autosomes and one pair allosome or sex chromosome. Sorry. And these chromosomes are present in every cell. At the same time, only at the time of reproduction, this allosome will take part. That too, during the formation of sperm and ovum. That too, during the process of spermatogenesis and oogenesis. I hope you could recollect that. Huh? Now, follow this uh, spermatogenesis. The diagram, what is given is schematic representation. A, it is spermatogenesis. B, oogenesis. Okay, now here, during the development of this male and female, that is called fetal life. Can you see here, fetal life. Fetal life, not the development of the sex organ, sperm, sorry, testis in male, ovary in female. I hope you understand. As I said, at the time when the sex is determined as male, the sex organ will start developing. Okay? And then that will reach the formation of spermatogonia, maturation of spermatogonia. Right? Same way here, first oogonia, mitosis, differentiation. I will come to this next. So here, the spermatogonia, it undergoes mitosis and forming primary spermatocyte. I hope you remember. As I said, testis, it is formed of numerous seminiferous tubules. Under that, they are getting differentiating into sertoli cells and interstitial cells or leading cells. And those interstitial cells, they are transformed into spermatogonia, which is undergoing the process spermatogenesis. And which is first at puberty, puberty when the sex organ attains maturity, that is puberty. Okay, so that the might as a sorry, the spermatogonia divides into two, forming two spermatogonia. That further differentiation, it is forming primary spermatocyte. Sorry, yeah. Now, this primary spermatocyte will undergo. First meiotic division. Now, when we say meiosis, as I said, there are two subdivisions. One is meiosis 1 or heterotypic division. Another one is meiosis 2 or homotypic division. But in the meiosis details, we will just understand this. So, during first meiotic division, the primary spermatocyte will undergo Changes, differentiation, where there is two, again, two important events taking place. That is, chiasma formation and crossing over. And that resulted in secondary spermatocyte. Okay. And this secondary spermatocyte on further second meiosis, it is forming four spermatids. I hope you follow. Uh, so now I understand. I say 
each one, one, two, three, four. These four primary spermatocyte will undergo this division. Same way, there are many number of spermatogonia will undergo the process. That's why we say millions of sperms will be produced in a life cycle of male human. Okay. And these spermatids, they are made into functional sperm or functional spermatozoa by the process spermiogenesis. That is differentiation. And this differentiation what is the structure of sperm we have studied? Head, pedal piece and tail. The blue color there that is head, pedal piece and tail. I hope you follow. Uh, so now this 23 persona, 46 number of chromosome in the secondary spermatocyte formation, first meiosis, it is reduced to half the number. That is N number. So, it is haploid. Haploid number of chromosome. That on further differentiation. Haploid emits. The sperm which is haploid is formed. That is for spermatogenesis. Whereas oogenesis. Here this is fetal life nature. During the development of the fetus. Okay. During the development of the fetus, oogonia getting differentiated, mitosis differentiation along, and primary oocyte will be formed. And this primary oocyte will undergo first meiotic division. Primary oocyte will undergo first meiotic division that is prior to ovulation. Abdina another ovulation is release of ovum. Okay. So, this period, growth period normal as taking place during childhood and at the time of puberty, ovulation will occur. So, this during childhood growth, this ovary is growing by the time first meiotic division is completed. Okay. At the same time, as a result, the secondary oocyte, one cell lende, one primary oocyte lende, there will be one secondary oocyte and another one, it is called first polar body, P-O-L-A-R. First polar body will be forming. I hope you understand. Hmm? Then at the time of puberty, the secondary oocyte will undergo Second meiosis to produce the ovum and second polar body. And this first polar body will also undergo second meiosis and totally this will, this will produce two polar bodies and this will produce one polar body. Yeah. So all these three polar bodies will get degenerated and this ovum it is called wooted and this wooted is made into Functional ovum. I hope you understand. Eh? So that is taking place in adult reproductive life cycle. The clearer This is the process of oogenesis. I hope you understand. Eh? So this is gametogenesis. The next one, see here, it is the picture for male reproductive system. And female reproductive system. In a the male reproductive system, as I said, testis is present outside the abdominal cavity and closed within the muscular bag called scrotal sac. That is known as scrotum in male. And within the testis, it is formed of numerous seminiferous tubules. And as I said, seminiferous tubule enter differentiating into cellular leading cell for the process of spermatogenesis. And coming out of this testis is highly coiled structure. The reddish brown, highly coiled structure that is called epididymis. When the sperms are produced, the 
epidermis stores temporarily here. Only at the time of ejaculation, the sperms will be sent to the female genital organ through vas deferens. Okay, so from this epidermis, it is continued as vas deferens and entering into the abdominal cavity. Given the naked part. You see the, the, the brown line A follow up. The red line is a double line. It is a tubular structure. So, you give the mid pannum. Okay. So, this is one side. So, other side also. A pair. So, it is a pair of testes. Okay. And then, this was difference. It is present closer to urinary bladder. Younger the urinary bladder. And then, it receives, I said, no, three gland secretion. One is prostrate gland. This is seminal vesicle. And one more, cowper's gland. So, seminal vesicle and prostrate gland. Their secretions, they are poured into this past difference. I hope you understand. Hmm? So, when these secretion, they are helpful to form a fluid called semen. So, the sperm along with this fluid semen, when they are during the time of fertilization through this male genital opening that is called penis entering into the female vagina. So, this is male reproductive system. Now, here this penis, it is acting both as urino, for urine uh, uh, elimination and also as genital opening. So, it is called urinogenital opening. I hope you understand. Hmm? Then this is female system, a pair of ovary. And closer to that is the ovidecal funnel. That is called fimbriae. And that is continued as a long tube called fallopian tube. And this fallopian tube on both the sides unite to form a common triangular muscular structure called uterus. And this uterus is triangular with the uterine cavity. And this uterus, as I said, it is formed of three layers. Outer epimetrium, middle myometrium, and inner endometrium. As I said, endometrium is nothing but blood capillaries. Okay. And continuation of that is the region called cervix, which is opening outside through the female genital, genital opening through vagina. Okay. So, this is for female reproductive system in human. Are you clear? Huh? The next one, see here, this is again reproductive system the picture is clear labeling one day, you will refer to previous session. Right? So, male testis, epididymis, vas deferens, penis and outside urethra. Same way, female, ovary, fallopian tube, uterus and vagina. And then this is uh, structure of mature sperm. Now, book in the diagram and the clear you can copy this. Okay. What I said, it is head, middle piece and tail. Now, the head contains at the tip called acrosome and this purple color it is nucleus and a very short neck continued as middle piece and this middle piece is having proximal and distal centriole as proximal and distal centriole and in between the distance between them is the spirally coiled mitochondria it supplies energy for the sperm. I hope you understand. Hmm? And continuation of that is the plasma membrane. This is the structure of mature sperm. This diagram is very clear than with our 
uh, diagram given in the textbook and also in the QP. So please follow this. Okay. Then this uh, female mature ovum in human, as I said, it is helical, and then it is formed of three egg membrane as said. The can you see zona pellucida corona radiator the kocha 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 network corona radiator and then tika tika na outer covering tika na outer covering and then as it is present within the graphene follicle so it is follicle cell and then there is no yolk in the human so it is said to be helical and we find only nucleus and cytoplasm. I hope you understand. Hmm? So now same way, this is the uh, female system, a pair of ovary and this ovary, it is formed of numerous graphene follicle. Now see here, this is the proliferative structure, transverse section of the ovary. What you are seeing here, all these brown dots, brown uh, spherical structure, yeah? they are all called graphene follicle at different stages of development. Sorry. See here, small, 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 they are all primary graphene follicle. Okay. And then this graphene follicle is developing the ovum. I hope you remember that. And after maturation of the graphene follicle, it undergoes the process of genesis and producing the ovum. And structure of mature ovum is called the structure of the Okay. Then after releasing the ovum, the empty graphene follicle, it is forming a structure called corpus luteum. Spelling called Corpus luteum, right? And the release of ovum, it is called ovulation. And the empty graphene follicle is transformed into a transitory endocrine organ called corpus luteum. And the hormone secreted by this female ovary, it is estrogen, and this graphene follicle secretes the hormone progesterone. I hope you follow. Uh, this uh, graphene follicle, this uh, ovum, next to right? this ovum, when it is reaching the uh, uh, male gamete, fertilization will be formed. Otherwise, this empty graphene follicle, next stage of the follicle, that will be degenerated or disintegrated. Okay. So, this is the cross section or transverse section of the ovarian follicle. Sharia? The next one, see here, the structure of mature ovum. I am already given in the QB, so now padikimenda nenekkine. Human ovum is small and contains no yolk, a lecithal. It is more than 100 millimicron in diameter. At the time of ovulation, ovum is surrounded by striated membrane called zona radiator, the corona radiator, sorry, zona radiator and later replaced by unstriated membrane called zona pellucida and this forms the primary egg membrane and the growing oocytes are surrounded by follicle cells. Now the follicle cells, the graphene follicle. And some of the follicular cells of the ovary are found outside the zona pellucida and are termed as corona radiator, which forms the secondary egg membrane and which is peeled out and the oocyte passes down the oviduct. And the follicle and the developing oocyte together constitute the graphene follicle. And the whole surface of the graphene follicle is supported by theca interna and theca externa. That means outer and inner membrane of the graphene follicle. I hope you understand. The next one, this is the diagram. 
human egg, human sperm on fusion forming zygote. Okay, so here in the diagram part, fertilize the process is called fertilization. So when the sperm entering the ovum, the tail is withdrawn. Only the head and the uh, middle piece alone will be entering into it. And at the time, once it is entering in, the, can you see the pink layer? It immediately develops a membrane called fertilization membrane, which prevents polyspermy. Okay. So, now let twins Right. Now, this can you see two nuclei here? Hmm? So, one nuclei from male, sorry, one nuclei from male and another one from female is this. So, we here, fusing nuclei. So, now this fusion of nuclei of the gametes, it is called pronuclei. So, now I say the fusion of pronuclei of male and female gamete, that process is called amphimixis. Morning, I said process is known as Amphimixis. I hope you follow. Hmm? The next one, see here, after fertilization, the embryo starts developing. Yeah. So for the fertilization, see here, the ovary is releasing the ovum. Can you see here? Can you see here? Ovum, ovary, releasing the ovum. That is given as A. Right? So, this is ovum. So, when it is reaching from the ovary, it is entering into the fallopian tube. So, when it is entering into the fallopian tube, through this female opening, the sperm is also entering and it is just traveling here. Okay, so when it is doing so, when this B diagram, when sperm entering the ovum, even the fallopian tube region, fertilization occurs. Okay, so it is the A, it is the B, in the space it is the fallopian tube. So in human, fertilization is taking place in the fallopian tube. I hope you understand. Okay, so now I say this is over. Fertilization occurs. So, diploid single celled uh, zygote will be formed. And then that zygote will undergo the process turning over the cleavage gastrulation. Yeah. So, that cleavage will undergo two celled stage, four celled stage, and then 8, 16, 32, 64, and double po pohum till it forms a irregular mass called morula, further termed as blasto, blastula. Can you see here? Blastula. I hope you understand. So, C, two cell state, is it four cell, and then irregular morula, further mass, it is blastula. And that blastula is differentiating as blastocyst. It is at the time of once the fertilization over, these divisions are taking place. These changes are taking place. I hope you understand. Same way, we have a book diagram. Over it, we have a follicle. Then, zygote fertilization. Zygote is formed and then finally it reaches the uterus. In this stage, it will play. I hope you understand. Yeah. So here, after the, at this stage, that embryo has to be fixed in the uterus. And that process is called fixing of that fertilized egg in the uterine wall. It is called implantation okay and that is known as implantation and then the development of the embryo with the little growth of that it is called embryo when there is uh, 
identifying identify ke sorry when the other parts of the body as hand leg and other body parts when they are identified it is called fetus sorry so here this fixing this is forming the developing embryo this is the uterine bone idu da inge ulla da idu i hope you understand yeah so this implantation and further growth of this illa par further growth of the embryo it is called fetus fetus spelling par f o e t u s it is called fetus sorry and that fetus it is having in a fetus okay it is fixed into the uterine wall and it is having vascular connection called placenta so this is the umbilical cord of the embryo and this is the uterine wall of the female i hope you follow uh, at the anterior part of the abdomen the triangle the triangle shape on the uterus sorry <coughs> in that the placenta will be having the vascular connection i hope you follow hmm? so with that this umbilical cord with this vessels idella vessels right and then this is the embryo further developing into fetus and that fetus till it's developing at the uh, period of 8 to sorry 9 to 10 months it is called gestation period that is known as gestation period okay so one minute this fetus development in our textbook it is given as given as the embryo continues to develop in the uterus the embryo continues to develop in the uterus it gradually develops the three parts such as hand leg head eyes ears the stage of embryo in which all the body parts can be identified is called fetus i hope you understand hmm? then after this uh, fully developed fetus it is the coming sorry the mother will uh, enter sort of at the time of child birth the fetus will be sent out that mother will wait will uh, be saying that is called child birth and that is sent out through this female genital opening i hope you understand Hmm? so this is human fetus within the uterus i hope you understand hmm? so this is for sexual reproduction now what you are seeing is <coughs> asexual reproduction where we have learnt about fission binary fission and multiple fission binary fission example amoeba uh, multiple fission example plasmodium which is a malarial parasite okay now see the figure first amoeba it is a parent cell and then an actual it withdraws its pseudopodia and the nucleus will start dividing and as the nucleus divides there is a protuberance or projection occurs in the body wall or cyto sorry pseudopodia where there is cytoplasm begins to divide and once the division is over the two daughter cells are separated i hope you understand huh? so this is for binary fission sorry and then for budding budding hydra example hydra our first one is a parent hydra and then at the that it is a cylindrical body with a basal disk and at oral end it has numerous tentacles okay and this basal disk this uh, lateral wall above the basal disk portion there is a small protuberance or projection will appear that is called bud 
and the content of the protoplast of little is entering into the bud and when it is growing or developing fully it is getting detached from the parent hydra i hope you understand hmm? so this is for hydra buddy the rendu diagram clear ah irukku the amoeba binary fission ah clear ah irukku so please make a note i hope you understand hmm? the next one it is a uh, regeneration that process is called regeneration where example it is planaria planaria is a plateau nama tape um padikom le adhe mari idu plateau seriya and in some organisms both plants and animal small cut parts of their body can grow or we say regenerate to form whole new organisms completely in all respects this is called regeneration otherwise we say the process of getting back a full organism from its body part is called regeneration okay the simple animals like hydra and planaria show regeneration that means whole new organisms can be reproduced from their cut body parts seriya in other words if hydra or planaria some more get cut into number of pieces they each then each body piece can grow into a complete organism i hope you understand hmm? so this planaria is a platform possessing great power of regeneration i hope you understand hmm? this is a method of asexual reproduction okay so now first one you pare it is the whole planaria okay so inge vande in the whole planaria la paadi kattanaala idu fulla irukku mel portion irukku keela katta irukku idile mele katta irukku keela irukku that grows into planaria okay another example nama veetla la the house lizard irukku theriyuma wall la pogula at some time when we are chasing them the tail will be cut appra oru rendu oru na kichu padina adhe palliki wall mulachu that is regeneration same way human liver it is also having the capacity of regenerating their own cells seriya so this is for planaria right the next one idu ore ore idu ncert solution book la enak kadichathu enna nam padichirukom inge that it is about budding binary fission and multiple fission and then uh, there is a difference between internal fertilization and external fertilization okay the question a is the for the drastic change which takes place during the development of an animal is called metamorphosis the animal that undergo metamorphosis are silkworm or butterfly nam padikirom by egg caterpillar pupa adult and frog as egg tadpole adult and in our book this tadpole it is given as early tadpole and late tadpole and we have learned in video session as the early tadpole is representing external gill stage and late tadpole stage representing internal gill stage with the development of forelimb and hindlimb i hope you could remember that so the silk worm badal nama butterfly um eduthu na qb la butterfly kodutirken adanal don't confuse seriya and then next one it is a crossword adanal na adala solliken that i will just follow crossword first one vand with the solution ah irukke first one find fill up the missing letter that is fertilization across children across la first one it is fertilization then here it is internal fertilization seriya and then the bud hydra reproduces by bud and here the female sex organ it is ovary are you clear hmm? and then uh, down 
it is male sex organ testis as a result of fusion zygote is formed and hence a it hence a oviparous animals right and amoeba reproducing by binary fission i hope you follow huh? so this is just a crossword that you follow that huh? then in our textbook as i said in the previous uh, video session we should learn about in vitro fertilization or test tube baby that is given in 105 correct in certain uh, female or male when the testes are ovary when they are not showing any fertility other alternate method is for test tube baby that is called in vitro fertilization what does it mean that male and female gametes they are take, removed from taken from the male and female parent and they are allowed to fuse or fertilize in a laboratory sterile condition required condition of nutrient medium and allowed to fuse after fusion fertilization will occur and that for the particular stages of development once it is over that embryo will be inserted into the female uterus again further development of the fetus will occur in female uterus that is test tube baby Correct. and then we come across one more term as clone clone page 110 la story of dolly nanu idu fulla padike porale just in i go through panna cloning is the production of exact copy of a cell any other living part or complete organism cloning of an animal was successfully performed for the first time by ian wilmet and his colleagues at roslin institute of edinburgh seriously and the cloned animal sheep was named dolly but the dolly could live only for 6 years i hope you understand hmm? so this is for the lesson chapter 9 <coughs> reproduction in animals we have learned in five parts i hope you have understood you will learn go through the lesson so that you can still understand better okay and as usual we will learn the lesson understand the concept and go through the qb if any doubt during the zoom class doubt clearing session la we can clear i hope you follow hmm? have a good day have a nice day and go through the lesson illa vande main chromosome number important sir we'll continue in the next video session thank you